We all know them. A mentor, a philanthropist, a doctor, an athlete, a woman in our lives who makes things better. Women like Simone Biles, the most accomplished female gymnast of all time or philanthropist Melinda French Gates. USA Today interview 5 remarkable women for a limited run podcast series called Women of the Year 2022. Five Things Sunday host James Brown worked intimately on the project to produce five episodes, two premiered Thursday, three more will premiere by the end of April. After putting so much time into the Women of the Year podcast the team at Five Things decided to talk about what they learned from the podcast and these remarkable women and what they hope you will gain from the series. For more on USA Today's Women of the Year 2022 click here. To follow James Brown on Twitter click here. James Brown, hello, and welcome to 5 Things. I'm James Brown. It's Sunday April 10th 2022. On Sundays, we do things a bit differently, focusing on one topic instead of five. This week I'm talking about USA Today's Woman of the Year. Behind the scenes, I work on a number of projects, including the Women of the Year podcast. Is part of a larger project on outstanding women across the nation. You can find out more about it at Women Off Year. Use it today. Calm. I huddled with post surprise winner, Connie Schultz, and my boss Shannon Green to adapt interviews with five remarkable women into a limited run show. The first two episodes premiered on Thursday with three more coming this month. You can find them wherever you listen to this show and we'll link to it in the description. I've spent so many hours bathed in the thoughts of these women. So I've decided to share a few of my perspectives about them. One of my favorites in this series hasn't been released yet. Her name is Janet McGee. Much like myself, she was the first person in her family to come away with a college degree. Her path was a little bit different, 